Pocono County's Board of Supervisors decides to go a step further in the fight against the Mountain Valley Pipeline. Today, supervisors approved a motion to become an intervener. WSLS 10's Christina Craig joins us now from Roanoke County. Christina, tell us what this means. Yes, the Roanoke County Board of Supervisors unanimously approved a motion for an intervener. This would give the board legal rights in the matter. The county will have to file an intervener before November 27th. An intervener would allow the county to legally challenge Federal, Federal Regulation Energy Commission in court if the county is not satisfied with the product. Being an intervener does not mean one is opposed to the project, but means there's concerns about particular elements like environmental concerns and the dangers associated with natural gas. It's the federal government, basically, FERC, a uh, federal arm that regulates that. They're the ones that say yes or no, and I think that's why a lot of citizens are upset, saying, hey, if it's coming through our county, we should have the last say to say yes or no. The entire pipeline will stretch from West Virginia to North Carolina and across 8.3 miles in Roanoke County. During the meeting, Roanoke County Police and Fire also requested $150,000 to purchase a mobile command vehicle that will serve emergency and non-emergency situations. The total cost is $310,000 and the department will be pulling money from forfeiture funds to foot the bill. And the council, uh, the board also approved this motion. Reporting in Roanoke County, I'm Christina Craig, WSLS 10.